At this stage, we can't make exceptions for some people in the state to get back to work. We will get to that point, but we are not there yet. So I want to acknowledge it's okay to be frustrated. It's okay to be angry, and it's okay to, you know, if it makes you better to direct it at me, that's okay too. I've got thick skin, and I'm always going to defend your right to free speech. So I just ask that those who are protesting these orders do so in a safe manner so that you don't get sick and you don't subject our first responders to risk either. And please, do not dis disseminate dis demonstrably inaccurate information or prey on other people's anxieties. This is a tough enough situation. Let's not make it harder on one another. There's nobody who would rather be able to push a button and just return to life as normal. But no button exists in this environment. And so we've got to be smart. We've got to, we've got to have grit. And we've got to pay attention to the science and stay united in this effort. You know, we've got to see that cases are not climbing. We've got to know that we've got the resources in our hospitals to meet the needs that are there. Right now, we still have hospitals that are or over capacity. We, you know, we've, we've got to be able to manage what we are confronting. We have to be able to detect it. So we've got to have the testing measures and the ability to trace. These are all critical components that everyone from Dr. Fauci to Governor DeWine and everyone in between has acknowledged these are, are fundamental to making sure that we are safe to start a phased in re-engagement of our economy.